Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson. This is Tour Time with Tyler, and welcome to the Canyons. Let's take a look at this model. So I love, love this community. This is the Canyons by Lennar. Right here, let me get everything in focus. Sorry, it's kind of bright out today. This is the Galileo model. It's a five bed, four and a half bath, three car garage. It's 3,669 square feet. They start right around 660. They do have a couple of move-ins ready starting around 662, standing inventory. But just how neat is this area? I'm gonna swing around just so you can see. You're up here right on the hill. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but you can see the strip. And some of these houses up here have amazing views. Balcony. So I'm gonna head on in. If you could do me a huge favor, hit that like and subscribe button. I am giving away a few Amazon cards once I hit 100 followers or 100 subscribers. Also, if you want my free MLS app for mobile, is down in the description below. Feel free to download it. Works just like Zillow and Realtor.com on your phone. So one of the cool things about this house, you actually get three ring doorbells with the home. Coming in, you have this little courtyard entry area. And one of the neatest things about this home is you actually get an apartment. This is what they call a next gen home next-gen model so through the double doors you'd enter into the main living area right here if you have someone who may need a little bit of space or you want to keep someone close maybe like an elderly parent and you want to be able to keep an eye on them you have the ability of keeping them attached to the house so coming in there are a few options in here I will point them out I'll show it to you. Coming in right away, your coat closet it actually comes back pretty far. If I didn't mention it already, it has the SmackDown type touch or um, stucco, the spray on. The walls have the orange peel. This model has the two tone paint, however, they do not offer that as an option anymore. Love this living area. It's huge. So I'm gonna pan you down real quick. This flooring is the upgraded flooring. I've seen the prices. It's usually about twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars, depending on what you option. But you will not get this in the standard. Almost everyone goes for the upgraded flooring. It's a big, big living area. High, high ceilings. These are probably at least ten feet tall. Before we get into the main living area, I want to take you into the apartment. Now, right here is the apartment. You can see right now they just have the glass door on so people can see in and see what it looks like. When you receive the home, it will not be glass. It will be your standard door. But prior to that, coming over, you have your powder room for downstairs. This just has the lower counter height, the 36 inch, the toilet. Swinging around, now this is what they call the next gen. It's an apartment, it's attached living. It's really neat. It has a living area, a dining, or excuse me, living in kind of dining area, and then a bedroom down around the corner, and it even has a kitchenette. The only thing it doesn't have is a stove, just because they can't put that in by code. So this is exactly what you'll get. You'll get the same cabinetry and the same countertops as in the actual lip, or kitchen. They opted for the espresso. You will get the higher counter or higher cabinets, which is always nice. Lots of storage in here. But what you can do, just like what they're showing, you put a crock pot, you put a hot plate, and you can cook in here. This sink even has a garbage disposal. How nice is this granite? You will get the undermounted sink, you will get that faucet, you get the stainless steel microwave. And like I said, here's the sitting area. Right here, this is that door we saw on the way in. So whoever is living in here doesn't even have to come through the house. 
coming around. Right here is the apartment's coat closet, which is nice, again. It's basically a full functioning home. Another cool feature about this specific model is you can enter the garage right here. There's another entry on the other side of the house from the garage and you enter into the pantry. Here we have the bathroom. This one actually has the higher countertops, which is nice. You don't have to bend over. And right here we have just a shower, which again is nice. The way they intend this is for families who will be having older parents or anyone else who may not be able to step over the lip of the tub. So they put a shower in here. Coming into the, ma or the master bedroom, I guess it would be the only bedroom. Another neat feature is right here in the closet. It comes with a stacked washer dryer, just a single unit. That does come standard. Decent sized closet. Again, I like that it has the double rods. It always gives you more space that you can work with. And into the actual bedroom of the unit. Nice size bedroom. It's a little bit bigger than a standard bedroom. I'd say maybe, maybe 10 by 11, 11 by 12. Just wanna give you the full view of everything. give you one more view of this and I'm going to show you the Harry Potter storage room because it's actually pretty big. Oh, I almost forgot. They do have a, it's not a microwave, it's a uh, microwave oven. So if you want to cook something in there, it doesn't just need to be a microwave. Right here is storage, Harry Potter room. You find the light. So you get all of this. It could be another bedroom. I jokingly talked with one of my clients who purchased one of these models and the little boy said it was gonna be his room because he liked Harry Potter. So we saw the living area. Swinging around, you have your dining room or dining area and your master, or excuse me, the kitchen. This fridge is standard. They do have another one that you can upgrade to, but I mean, you get two fridges in one. You have fridge, freezer. Love the size of this island. This is an island, this is a continent. So you get your little coffee bar, coffee area. Again with the cabinets, same as we just saw in the next gen area. These are 42 inch uppers. They did the espresso. You can choose different options. They even have an upgraded package. I'll show you in one of the other models. You also, when ordering that, get the upgraded banister on the handrails. So right here you have your dual stack. Coming across, you have your microwave. The backsplash is an option. You get your burners. Everything's gonna be stainless steel. How neat is that hood? And tons and tons of cabinetry. On this side, back to the island, one of the neatest features that I've always loved is this is an ice maker. How cool is that? Your cabinets, your drawers. Not soft close, they have a little bumper. It's gonna be the same with the cabinets. They don't give you the soft closing cabinets. You 
You have your dishwasher, your dining area. What's neat is you get this double-sided opening so you can kind of open up the whole corner of the house right here. Let's see if we can go outside real quick. Now this is one of the smaller lots. They do have larger lots. Now with it, you will get the covered patio. You will get the concrete, but it being a new home, you will not get the backyard finished. And again, these walls will go up higher once they get to the point where they sell the models. But I've seen homes in here with quadruple the size lots, or at least uh, it goes back four times as much. Just depends on where it is. You do pay a premium for those different size lots. Well, I want to show you how cool is this pantry. Now, if you like to cook, you like to prep, you could turn this into an office. It's literally the biggest pantry I've ever seen. You could prepare for World War Three, Four, and Five in here. Now, like I said, when you get the upgraded cabinets, you will get the upgraded banister. It has more of a modern look to it with uh, metal trim in the railing. And again, this is the upgraded, upgraded flooring, upgraded carpet. You get a little bit higher quality, different pad. Right off the bat, right here in the front, this is the loft area. Nice size loft. Sorry about the lamp. So you do get access to the balcony. I'll take you out when we get over to the master. But nice bonus area. You can keep downstairs a little bit more formal. You can use this uh, where you don't have to keep it clean as much. I know a lot of people with kids, they really like this just because they don't have to tend to the mess as much. So right here, you have the first bedroom. Nice size, it's a little bit bigger than what a standard bedroom would be. It's maybe 11 by 11, 12 by 12. Decent sized closet for a secondary bedroom. Right here, you have this bathroom that will be used for mainly the loft and this bedroom. So again, this has the lower counter height sink, so it's 36 inch. You have your toilet, and then right here, you have your shower. Now you can option to upgrade this. This just has the fiberglass insert. You can upgrade to stone, it's an option. Before we head across, right here you have a very nice size linen room. You can see there's at least 16 to 18 inches of extra space right there. Now this will be the master. Before we go there, I'm gonna take you to the other bedrooms. I'll show you real quick the uh, laundry room. So you get the same cabinets again as the kitchen. You do get the sink, folding area. You will not get a washer and dryer. If you like, they do have packages that will they'll sell you. Or if you want, you can always go, just purchase your own and have them installed. Again, nice height and ceilings in here. Down here, they're probably nine feet tall. So we'll start over here. So second bedroom, decent size. It is maybe a touch smaller than the uh, other one we were just in. I wish that they would have put balconies out there because it has just the uh, flat roof. 
especially with this model you have an amazing view. So right here will be your walk-in closet and it's a pretty decent sized closet. It's maybe, I don't know, five, six feet by four feet. These two bedrooms share a Jack and Jill. So what's nice about this is there's no fighting over sinks. You have dual vanities, again, same cabinets. I like the, uh, the way this is laid out. Here is the tub shower toilet area. Again, if you like, you can option for stone. Most people don't, they put the money into other areas of the home. Coming into the other bedroom, again, very similar in size. This one as well has a walk-in closet. And again, same size as the other one. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. It's really bright out, but right there is the strip. So, I mean, this, this room has one of the best views. And let's swing back around and check out the master. So you have your master suite. I love the way they laid this out. So right over here, you will have the first of the two closets. You do his and hers. Hers and hers in my case is the way it would be. A very, very, very nice size bedroom. You can tell it's a king size bed, has plenty of room. Coming into the master bath, I love how Lennar does their bathrooms. Right here you have your toilet area, but how cool is that tub? Just freestanding like that. Before we go to that, I just wanna show you across the way, more linen. You can even put the TV, which is really nice. It's straight across, so you can just relax right in the bath. These ones do have the higher countertops for the vanities. Separate vanity. And you even have a whole makeup crimping getting ready area. Into the second closet. This one's a bit bigger. And you have your shower. This one has the bench. Nice high shower head. As you can see, this actually has the stone. This is what I was talking about earlier when I was talking about the fiberglass tubs and showers. How neat is this? Especially right now, you can just come up here and relax all day. So like you saw earlier, this balcony is connected to the loft, which is really nice. You don't have to go tromping through the uh, master to get to it. Just back up real quick so you can see. Right there's the loft. And even right here, you get very nice mountain views. So again, thanks for tagging along. As always, please like, subscribe, share. It really helps me out with the algorithm. Also, don't forget my app is down in the description as well as all of my contact info. If you'd like to see this home, or any other home out here in the Las Vegas and Henderson Valley. Doesn't matter if it's a resale, doesn't matter if it's a new build. Please give me a call, I'd be more than happy to help you out. Until then, thank you and stay safe.